Flipping me coming at you. Uh, want to do a new review on a uh, you know gear consolidation item. See nowadays when I see a lot of guys who put out their gear, put out their pocket dumps and so on and so forth, you see a lot of stuff that you're like, how in the hell they're carrying it. This is one of those options that you can look into. I like it because of the modularity you have with it. It's very easy to kind of fix it the way you want it to go. But I'm talking about, of course. Is the gear puller now I was lucky enough to grab one of these and I'm going to talk about a couple other pieces that I uh, have been looking at this is the gear puller real simple design all integral design um, you know it's there's it's a single piece so you're not having to worry about too much about this comes with uh, even a matching little uh, pull tab this is the copper version little copper split ring right there with a handy little pull pull tab right here so you're not having to worry about too much about digging on this what i like about this is that all right in, in, in reality sake there's no way in hell a lot of guys are carrying too much stuff but this is also a way you can store stuff in a way that is easy for you and what i'm talking about is this is the brass metzger version with um let me show this picture straight. this is a shorter version this is a prototype the brass metzger version and it what it got is um right here i'm gonna zoom in on this i wanted to show how it attaches with magizmo clips okay, and these are your standard magizmo clips i'll put a link below on where you can get those uh, these are the titanium ones so they can be anodized for your taste um brass ring split rings which a larger split ring in the middle and a swivel clip well, swivel. Similar to what you would see on um, fishing line lure. You know, it swivels 360 degrees all the way around. So you're not worrying about your gear flip-flopping and, you know, possibility of too much tension. You know, because there's only be so much tension on these clips before they give. So you're not having to worry about that. So this also allows for a deep pocket carry. You're not having to worry about bulges. You're not having to worry about too much... Um, you know fishing around in your pocket so this is something that definitely uh you want to look into getting if you want a consolidation item and see the brass one even has a brass split ring then we get into the mini titanium version everybody loves tie i love tie this is the this is the beta version of this this is uh you know the shortest length so this is literally for those guys who like a real low signature and then it's got this a little hang instead of how this one has the piece where hanging is integral this one actually hangs off a split ring as well and the beauty of this and this is this one you can i mean if you figure out a way that works for you you can hang points of every off every single point in this thing but this small titanium beta version is perfect for you know you guys who are really uh wanting that lower drag on it i mean it's obviously smaller so i don't see you weighing this down with too much heavy stuff but for you guys who have your atwoods um and other small pocket tools the pry buddy from david sharp your uh the anzo pry bars stuff like that i mean this is perfect for that flashlights um I mean, even on the larger split rings, if you wanted, you could hook up your sack to this. So this way, now your sack has a pocket clip without having to figure out a way or paying for a modder to, to mod out your, your pocket clip. So that's that's it. And what's beautiful about that is that when he came up with this, that little piece, he also came up with this. This is a small piece of tie. And this is just a brass split ring for sake of 
you know, for the hell of it right now. You can actually connect this to this split ring. Connect that split ring to, say, a Monroe dangler. So you don't have to go out and buy the whole thing. This is obviously an experimental piece. Um, you know, this is called the Titanium FM1. It'll turn your existing dang dangler into a gear pull. So you can use, you know, a, a Monroe dangler. Get one of these pieces, and boom, you have a gear dangler without having to buy a full gear pull if you don't want to. I mean, if you already have that dangler piece, it's very easily just to mod out something you already have. So that's going to be in the future. Um, you got to realize, though, when you do do these things, uh, you very, your split rings, you need to take care of them with the gear that you put on these things because they can deform. Um, what, I have, what I have right here to kind of show you what I mean by just hanging the gear in there, and it's right there as well, is this is a Chavez Knives. Um, there's no name for it right now. It's the, it says Cap Lifter Pry Bar. Shaped just like one of his, what's it called, clips. Well, I'll get into this later. But that's a sizable piece of tool that was hanging effortlessly off one of those. So this is definitely something to get into. Uh, Gear Pool has a website. I'll put that in the link below as well. You also, uh, the, and you can ask them about these, just like the new um, Brass Metzger. Like I said, this is the Brass Metzger. Mind you, they all do come in this configuration by itself uh the i guess we'll call it the first gen but um this is definitely the the initial design it comes in titanium brass and copper personally i'm a copper guy just because of the way they age you have your titanium for your lightweight durability and it has a considerable amount of spring in it right there so you don't have to worry about it too much and then obviously Good old-fashioned brass. You can't say no to brass, especially if you're, you know, going out somewhere with a lot of salt water. You have brass; it will last longer. But when you got to realize, people, is that this is something you want to get into. Um, I'll put the links below. Uh, Gamble makes them by hand. They're beautifully done, and uh, I believe they're CNC'd out first, and then he finishes them up by hand. Uh, but they're all hand they're all from a small shop. The Magismos, you can buy them from a third-party uh, website. I'll also put that link below. And they're just, it's, they're, they're simple. It's just a simple spring clip. Simple spring clip. Hide, put all your gear on it. Put it in your pocket. Walk away. I mean, you could put your key ring on this. You don't have to worry. Put a knife on it for all you know. You know, keep a... Low pocket carry if you had to, like I said, with that sack. So um, definitely something you want to look into. Definitely worth it and a uh, beautiful piece. I'm, I'm really, really, really surprised because I don't like too many pocket clips. And this definitely um, consolidates that pocket clutter. Well, not clutter, pocket mm, cachet, if you will. Your pocket cash. <laughs> so... Look into this, um, definitely affordable, um, definitely something you want to get into, and definitely something that you want to, um, you know, put in somebody's stocking. It's great stocking stuff for people. So, I just want to say, uh, you know, check them out, put everything below, and you guys have a great day.